Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers. Related to release procedures for purchase documents in SAP MM Materials Management Interviews. 1. What is the purpose of release procedures for purchase documents in SAP MM? Answer. Release procedures in SAP MM ensure that specific authorization levels are adhered to before a purchase document, such as a purchase requisition or purchase order, is approved for further processing. 2. Explain the typical workflow of release procedures in SAP M. Answer. The workflow involves creating a purchase document, initiating the release process, where it goes through different release levels, and finally, approval by authorized personnel. 3. How is a release strategy defined in SAP M? -M? Answer. A release strategy is defined based on criteria such as document type, value, and specific characteristics. It involves configuring the release strategy and transaction code, OMGIOC, release groups, and codes. 4. What are release groups and release codes in the context of release procedures? Answer. Release groups categorize purchase documents and release codes. Represent the different levels of authorization within each release group. These are defined in the configuration. 5. Explain the concept of classification in release procedures. Answer. Classification allows the grouping of characteristics criteria based on which a release strategy is determined. It includes attributes like document type, vendor, or value. 6. How do you assign release codes to release groups in SAP? MM? Answer. Release codes are assigned to release groups in transaction code, OM7 release code assignment. Here, you link each release code to a specific release group. 7. What is the role of the release indicator in purchase documents? Answer. The release indicator determines whether a purchase document is subject to the release procedure. It is set in the document type configuration in transaction code, OM4, defined document types. 8. How can you check the release status of a purchase document in SAP? MM? Answer. The release status of a purchase document can be checked in transaction code, ME23N, display purchase order. By navigating to the header tab and checking the release status field. 9. Explain the release strategy based on document total value. Answer. A release strategy based on document total value involves setting up release codes for specific value ranges. For example, release code 01 for values up to 10000, release code 02 for values $10,001 to 20000, and so on. 10. What is document currency and how does it impact release strategies? Answer. Document currency is the currency in which the purchase document is recorded. It impacts release strategies as the value thresholds are defined in the document currency. 11. How is the release indicator set during the creation of a purchase document? Answer. The release indicator is set during the creation of a purchase document in the header tab by selecting the appropriate release group and release code. 12. What is the role of classification characteristics in release procedures? Answer. Classification characteristics define the attributes based on which a purchase document is classified for release. These characteristics can include document type, vendor, plant, etc. 13. How do you configure a release strategy for purchase requisitions? Answer. Configuring a release strategy for purchase requisitions involves defining release groups, codes, and characteristics in transaction code, OMGYUK. This configuration is similar to purchase orders. 14. Explain the release strategy for purchase orders with multiple release codes. Answer. Multiple release codes in a release strategy mean that the document needs approval from multiple levels. For example, Release code 01 for department head and release code 02 for purchasing manager. 15. How can you restrict the release of a purchase document based on vendor evaluation in SAP? MM? Answer. 
Vendor evaluation can be used as a classification characteristic in release procedures. A release strategy can be configured to consider vendor evaluation scores before approval. 16. What is the significance of the release status in a purchase document? Answer. The release status indicates whether a purchase document has undergone the required approval levels. It helps in tracking the progress of the document through the release procedure. 17. How is release strategy determined during the creation of a purchase document? Answer. The release strategy is determined during the creation of a purchase document. Based on the classification values characteristics such as document type, vendor, or value. 18. Explain the concept of release groups for purchase requisitions. Answer. Release groups for purchase requisitions allow grouping requisitions based on specific criteria. Release strategies are then defined for these release groups. 19. How can you configure dynamic release strategies in SAP? MM. Answer. Dynamic release strategies involve using user exits or baddest business at ins to dynamically determine release codes based on specific conditions during the release procedure. 20. What is the purpose of the release strategy status in SAP? MM. Answer. The release strategy status indicates whether a release strategy is active or inactive. It is set in the release group configuration and determines whether the strategy is currently applicable. 21. How do you troubleshoot issues related to release strategies in SAP? MM. Answer. Troubleshooting release strategy issues involves checking configuration settings, document types, and characteristic values. The system logs and transaction SWE1 workflow error handling can be useful. 22. What are the considerations for integrating release strategies with SAP workflow? Answer. Integration with SAP workflow involves configuring release codes, defining agents, and activating workflow for release procedures. Workflow logs and monitoring tools help in tracking the workflow process. 23. Can you explain the role of the release group, release for purchasing document, role make, in SAP MM? Answer. The release group, release for purchasing document, is used to release purchasing documents, for example, purchase orders based on predefined criteria. It is commonly used for standard purchasing documents. 24. How can you configure release strategies for outline agreements contracts in SAP? MM? Answer. Release strategies for outline agreements involve similar configuration steps as for purchase orders. The document type, value, and other characteristics are considered in the release strategy. 25. Explain the impact of changes in release strategies on existing purchase documents. Answer. Changes in release strategies do not impact existing purchase documents. Only newly created documents or documents subject to RAE release are affected by updated release strategies. 26. What is the role of the release status report in SAP? MM? Answer. The release status report provides an overview of purchase documents and their current release status. It can be accessed using transaction code, me to w release purchase documents. 27. How do you handle emergency releases in the context of SAP? M. Release strategies? Answer. Emergency releases can be facilitated by authorized personnel manually overriding the release status in the purchase document header. However, this should be done with caution and proper documentation. 28. What is the impact of changes in vendor master data on release strategies? Answer. Changes in vendor master data, such as changes in evaluation scores, can impact release strategies. If vendor related characteristics are part of the classification for release. 29. Explain the integration of release strategies with document types in SAP M. Answer. Document types define the structure of purchase documents. Release strategies are closely tied to document types, and changes in document types can impact release procedures. 30. How can you ensure that only authorized users can release purchase documents? Answer. 
authorization checks in SAP ensure that only users with the necessary release codes and authorization levels can release purchase documents. User roles and authorization profiles are configured accordingly. These questions and answers provide insights into key aspects of release procedures for purchase documents in SAP MM, covering configuration, workflow, classification, and troubleshooting. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.